Have I showed you inside my handbag coffin? You probably have one as well, right? I'm Angela Brown and this is Ask a House Cleaner. This is a show where you get to ask a house cleaning question and I get to help you find an answer. Now, during COVID, we started helping people go through their closets and their storage units and decluttering their houses. And one of the things we discovered is that lots of the people that we were working with had a handbag coffin. It's a place where all good handbags go to die. So you replace a handbag because it no longer represents the part of your life that you're in. So you retire it and you buy a new one or a more updated one or a more fashionable one or one that's more suitable for your carries at the time, if you will. And then what happens to all the other purses, right? So the question today is, can we donate them? Can we toss them? Or are we going to pull them out and use them again? It's a decision we have to make. All right. So this is a purse. Not really a purse. It's a designed padded handbag for a particular concealed carry need, right? But if it's padded and it's locked away, how on earth can you use it? So while it was a good idea at the time, not ever going to use it because what I have is now in a purse I carry with me, right? Okay. So the other one is a see-through bag. This just started getting a little bit ratty, but we use these every day when we cleaned houses and we go to and from a customer's house. If we had to carry any personals with us, it went in a clear plastic bag. That way going and coming, all of our coworkers and our customers, any security cameras could see that we did not remove anything that was not authorized from the customer's house, right? So I'm not going to use that anymore either. Now, a small purse, and this is about the time I started being a concealed carry person, and I realized my purse was not effective because it only had one pocket. I need one with two pockets so that one is designed for my personal use and the other for my protection, right? Okay, so a great big bag. This is one that I was going to carry with me on trips across the country, and it's a really big bag with a really long handle, and it fits around you like this, and you're supposed to be able to carry all your lunch and stuff in it. But what I discovered is that all my lunch and all my stuff is in this bag. When I try to walk, my arm gets in the way and I do a lot of backpacking and hiking. So it's really not as effective as I hoped it would be. Therefore, probably not going to use it again. And then there's bags, bags like this. These are totes and I loved totes. I went through a a phase where I took totes for everything. And I don't know, I think it was like back in the eighties, everything was big. Big, big, big. We wore shoulder pads in our clothes. We wore big hair. We'd spray it up and we'd carry around these big purses. I don't know what we were thinking. Maybe we were carrying muffins for our friends or what have you. (laughs) But the big totes are gone. I no longer want to carry big, heavy totes full of stuff. All right. The other one is another backpack bag. And uh, this I love. It's insulated. And I have carried this bag actually all over the world on backpacking trips. I've really enjoyed this bag but it's time for it to go. It's split open. So I need to just throw this one in the trash because nobody can use it because it's ripped and it's torn, right? So there's stuff that we're hanging on to that's really no good anymore. Here's a bag. It's a waterproof bag and it was given to me as like to carry my swimsuits in, Uh, except it's very small. All this is going to hold is maybe a shower cap (laughs) and a bathing suit and maybe a pair of earplugs. Like that's it, right? So if you're carrying anything else that you're going to use at the gym, you're going to have a bigger bag. There's a difference between a huge tote and a tiny tote. And if it's too big or too small, you're not going to use it. So get rid of the in-between ones that don't match whatever it is you're trying to do, right? What is the purpose of your tote? Here's a tote. And this also has been around the world with me. And it's one of those little hanging totes where you put things in it like cotton balls and Q-tips and stuff like that. And when you get to your hotel room, you hang it up. The problem is all the stuff that's in here comes falling out once you get there. And so while this was a good idea in theory, I don't know why I still have it because it didn't work that well. One of the things that I need to mention, when you go through the purses and you're donating the purses and getting rid of stuff, make sure you go through all the pockets. Because one of the things I discovered in one of these bags that I was looking through today was an old checkbook. And the checkbook is actually connected to a bank account that is still active in my name. Way back in the olden days, in order for us to give money to someone else, we would write the check and we would sign it and the person would take it to the bank and the bank would give them money in exchange for the check, right? So someone could actually still get money from a check I found in the coffin bag of old purses. I know, frightening, right? So now I'm going through all the pockets and I'm looking for money. I found some euros inside one of my purses and I'm like, whoa, euros. I'm going to have to take another trip so I can go spend the money, but it will be with a different purse. All right. 
Somebody gave this one to me as a gift. And my first thought was, I wonder why they thought I would want a blue purse. And then my husband said, do you really wonder or do you kind of know? <laughs> they were thinking of me and they saw this and they're like, oh, a purse for Angela, yay. So this was a really fun purse. I actually carried it with me for a very long time. And this was back in the days when our smartphones were really big like bricks. It was really amazing that this was my cell phone bag so that I could carry my cell phone. And then I discovered that now my smartphone is kind of like always in my hand. And then I have glasses now that I use when I read and they're mostly on my head. So on my head, in my hand, I don't need it in a handbag. And I certainly don't need a handbag that's this big, right? And there are actually a couple more here inside the coffin. This is a really big purse. Oh, that's big. I can't believe I used to take this everywhere I go. And there's actually something poking out of the pocket. Ah, it's a combination lock for a combination to the locker at one of the, the gyms that I used to go to. <laughs> the amazing things you'll find in your old purses. All right, so for this week's challenge, get rid of at least five of your purses or handbags. And I don't mean put them in a handbag coffin. I mean, actually toss them or donate them or give them to the local theater company and just get rid of them and get them out of your house. All right, if you're with me, give me a thumbs up. If you got questions or comments, those go in the notes below. And until we meet again, leave the world a cleaner place than when you found it.